Chelsea Harvey, and my Shakespeare project is Lady Macbeth from Macbeth. Make sure Unto the list. 
own these flaws and starts. Imposters to true fear would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire, authorized by her granddam shame itself. It will have blood. They say blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move and trees to speak. The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my bounds. Come, the spirits attend to mortal thoughts. Un sex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Stop up the access and passage to remorse that no compunctious visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and it. Art thou appear to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art to desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would. I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. Only look up clear. To alter favor ever is to fear. The eye wink at the hand, yet let that be that which the eye fears when it is done to see. Sira, a word with you. Was it not yesterday we spoke together? No, that it was he in times which held you so under fortune, which you thought had been our innocent self. This I have made good with you in our last conference. And I will put that business in your bosoms. You know Banquo is your enemy. So is he mine. And in such bloody distance that every minute of his being thrusts against my nearest of life, and though I could with bold-faced power sweep him from my sight, and yet I must not. For certain friends who are both his and mine, whose loves I may not drop, who I myself did strike down. And thence it is that I, to your assistance, do make love, masking the business from the common eye for sundry weighty reasons. When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. I will advise you where to hide yourselves, acquaint you with the perfect spy of the time, the moment, aunt, where it must be done tonight and with him. To leave no rubs nor botches in the work, resolve yourselves apart, I'll come to you anon. So it is concluded, Banquo, thy soul's flight it find heaven, must find it out tonight. Fire. The doors are open, 
and from this moment, the very firstlings of my heart shall be the firstlings of my hand. And even now, to crown my thoughts with acts, be it thought and done. And you all know security is mortal's chiefest enemy. I am in blood, stepped in so far that should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as go war. Tis safer to be that which we destroy than by destruction dwell in doubtful joy. Can such things be? Blood hath been shed ere now in the golden time, and since two murders have been performed, of sorriest fancies your companions making, using those thoughts which should indeed have died, what's done is done. I will charm the air to give a sound while you perform your antic round. That this great king may kindly say, our duties did his welcome pay. Come, sealing night, scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with thy bloody and invisible hand, cancel and tear to pieces that great bond which keeps me pale. Thou marvelest at my words, but hold thee still. Things God begun make strong themselves by ill. There's no art to find the mind's construction in the face. He was a gentleman on whom I built an absolute trust. And when we have our naked frailties hid, that suffer in exposure, let us meet and question this most bloody piece of work to know it further. Fears and scruples shake us. In the great hand of God, I stand and thence against the undivulged pretense I fight of treasonous malice. But cruel are the times when we are traitors and do not know ourselves. When we hold rumor for what we fear, yet know not what we fear, but float upon a wild and violent sea each way and move. I have almost forgot the taste of fears. The time has been that my senses would have cooled to hear a night shriek, and my fell pair would, at a dismal treatise, rouse and stir as life were in. I have supped full with horrors. Direness familiar to my once slaughterous thoughts cannot once start me. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day unto the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor 